Hi Libra, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. Sorry, I cannot think. Um, if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe to your email there, and that way you'll get an email notification whenever the readings, whenever my availability opens back up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. And let's go ahead and dive in. Sorry, I have, I have like a weird frog in my throat. Okay. Let's see what comes out here. Interesting that the cards, uh, there's your card right there, Justice. The very first card that popped out was the World card. So it feels as though um, this is cause and effect, right? It's karma, justice. It feels as though you guys are kind of like in line for some type of karmic reward, but I feel as though also it's the other side of the coin. Okay, bear with me because I'm going to explain this. I, ju I just want to see if the archetype cards kind of confirm what I'm picking up on. The vow. Didn't we I swear, did we get that for you guys last week? Hey, yeah. Okay, dude. Last week I did that. Yeah, you guys had like the unbreakable vow thing. So I swear you guys pulled that card out. Okay, that's what I'm going to take. All right. And that one, K, 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 K. Libra, this is what I think is going on. K. So, like I said, we have the justice in the world. There's almost something you're waiting to balance out for you to complete something. Okay. Maybe it's a relationship, a work environment. It feels as though someone is like. Libra, someone's waiting for you to finish something or, or some of you guys, someone, you haven't like officially closed out something. It feels like you're on the verge of telling someone or something you're done there. Some of you guys, this could be involving a contract. Like there could be contracts or agreements involved here. And you're kind of like, um, you have to, you're in the process of waiting for a completion to happen. Okay. Because, yeah, that's what we have with the vow. Like, you made some type of commitment or something here. And I feel like something going on in this situation. These are fascinating energies that came in. Because you have Gnosis, which is inner truth, mystic truths, and inner knowing. And then you have the box. Okay. These are really hilarious, like, interesting energies. Because... I feel like what you're completing is there's something in you or about you that you know something needs to come to a completion, okay? And you might start getting signs of it in small little subtle ways. Only you'll be able to know. But there's just certain things that you know about your own process that start to show you that things are about to wrap up, you know? So you're... Your own energy with the Justice card coming in, there's something about your own energy even internally that's needing to balance out because especially with the Justice card, it's such a Libra, it is Libra card. It's about justice and fairness and Libras can be like super about things being fair and just and it's not that it's a bad thing. I just feel as though... There's like an interesting thing going on in your energy where I feel like it's connected to another person. And it could be connected to the world card with something coming to a completion. Because with the box, I feel like there's still certain perceptions that you have about that are a little bit it's not going to complete the energy or it's not it's not something that your mind can come to a complete conclusion about because i feel like libra what's going on is in your mind you're trying to find balance in a situation or you're trying to kind of like um 
find the justice or the fairness and maybe oh do you know what i just heard heard is you're trying to give someone the benefit of the doubt and it might not be that way it could be legit like someone came in and took advantage and you're trying to still kind of like find the silver lining or like i said you're trying to give someone the benefit of the doubt and you're maybe even you're trying to like take accountability in some ways and it's not that it's good or bad i just feel like in your mind that's the way that you're processing through what you went through because with the world card with wrapping up a cycle you're there were certain commitments that you made or it just feels a little bit with the vow you like bonded with someone's energy you merged in some way with someone's energy because this, if this isn't like contracts and agreements some of you that could be marriage or things like that but there's also something about that like you really like made some type of a commitment with someone's energy and then as far as inner knowing or mystic truth something else came in to kind of like I feel like dissipate this it's something completely different and for those of you there could be certain things where you're having a hard time seeing out of this with the box card and it's because like your mind isn't going to be able to be able to come up with the conclusion it or the way to complete something there's you're kind of like I don't know and you're trying to maybe even go through the past certain times that you dealt with a similar situation and the ways that you've you've come to completions in the past I feel like that's what you're doing in your mind is you're kind of like going back to times that you completed something before and you're trying to like recreate that but it's almost like boxing you in even more because this situation is very new it's very different and the way that you even came to th to things in the past is from mystic truths like an inner knowing it was kind of like you went into some type of situation and it helped to close something out for some of you guys it could be in regards to like a toxic situation or a toxic relationship so spirit of cups <laughs> okay i love that so that's like opportunity creativity that's that's where it's going to help like this combination of the gnosis like you're tapping into your mystic truths like tapping into your this ability to be infinite that's like the quantum superpositionness where you can come into this is like particle based and this is wave ability okay where this is infinite this is like boxed in it can only occupy one amount of space that's a particle and so if you you can tap into di different forms of superpositions because superposition is where a quantum entity can be uh, like multiple shapes and be in multiple places at the same exact time it's it's like mind-boggling it's out of the norm it's out of this constricted boxed in like this is how it is that's the creative part of you that's coming up with a way to really resolve some type of situation or bring something to an end. So it's kind of like you might be feeling a bit boxed in to a person or a situation like you can't get out. But dude, you have like some creative ability to be able to pull out of it. Okay, so cool. Seven of Cups, that's speculation and opportunity. So there's almost like something here where you're trying to find different opportunities you're trying to like think of different ways this is like imagination you know being able to kind of use your fantasizing abilities to kind of come up with different solutions but i feel like the way that you come into it is by just doing something creative okay doing something that you're good at like like maybe art or photo photography or just working somehow with creativity it, and it's going to come to you. It's not something that you'll come up with. So I know that sometimes the way that you like to come to things is you like to kind of like a analyze it and come and you're trying to think of all the opportunities, but you only have a certain amount that you can come into it. There's only like certain, I keep getting that, like certain ways that you can come into things. So you have the Dawn of Swords. That's like... Look at that reflection diligence it feels as though that's a little bit of like an idea or a truth that's gonna come into you that's why i was saying it won't necessarily be from your analyzing that your mind does it's something that just like pops into your reality and you're like boom it's like a light bulb moment you're like it's like 
angels singing and you're like, that's it. That's the thing to do. And then you're on the path. Then you're headed in that direction. Okay. Six of wands. This is really cool. Advancement, recognition. So I feel as though, yeah, there's going to be this advancement that comes in from this idea. So, oh, this is so cool. I love this reading. Let me grab a, let's see, one more. Yeah, one more card. Oh, no way. Wow, 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 wow. I cannot make this up. Your card that popped out next is the full card. And I'm not even making up this. Look at this. You have the world card that was right underneath it. The world twice. So that's why final card in the major arcana and the very first one. Ending, new beginning. So yeah, I know that this is going to be like kind of an awkward energy or process okay because it's kind of like it's it's gonna be something from spirit okay it's gonna be a little bit different because your spirit is frisky and kind of like unique and different and the way that it comes to certain things it's just it's by its own accord libra like so you're gonna have to kind of just let it do its thing because it's gonna take you into this freedom optimism and that's your advancement is opening up into this energy here so trust what you're picking up on because spirit of cups um that can also come with like communication emotional opening up your heart it could come with apologies that could be just certain things that are gonna help to open up your energy to help bring this clarity in okay I'll dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So Libra, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Libra, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.